For over two decades, RF Safe has exposed many companies that are potentially putting you in greater danger from wireless radiation. In this video, I'm going to tell you five easy to explain ways that Safe Sleeve is deceiving you and potentially putting you at much greater risk. SafeSleeve's first deceptive tactic is so rampant among anti-radiation products marketed in the U.S. that the FCC and FTC have both issued warnings about cell phone radiation scams. Two companies in the U.S. have been prosecuted for perpetrating cell phone radiation scams after Good Housekeeping magazine interviewed RF Safe's founder, John Coates, about the false security many companies were selling as radiation protection. As a result of the investigative report, the FTC took legal action and posted public warnings about cell phone radiation scams. On the FTC's website page titled Cell Phone Radiation Scams, it explicitly states that shields may interfere with the phone's signal, cause it to draw even more power to communicate with the base station, and possibly emit more radiation. I'm about to show you video evidence of how a safe sleeve case design is resulting in exactly what the FCC and FTC are warning us about. A safe sleeve case design incorporates a large piece of metal in the back of their cases. This metal plate, along with magnets, interferes with the phone's antenna and operational output power. Due to this anti-radiation design flaw, safe sleeve is putting users at far greater risk of exposure to abnormally high levels of cell phone radiation. This video demonstrates how SafeSleeve violates several fundamental design considerations of any anti-radiation case. I'm about to give you a glimpse inside a cell phone radiation scam as defined by the FTC and FCC. Take a look. So we're going to rip this thing open. This is the anatomy of a cell phone radiation scam. All right, here we go. Starting to make some progress. Starting to make progress here. Holy moly, look at the size of that thing. Okay, so not only do you have multiple magnets surrounding the exterior of it, but you've got a huge plate of metal. I mean, are you seeing this on the back of the phone case, okay? This huge piece of metal is going to interfere with the antennas. This is what the FTC calls a scam, okay? Now that was a well-deserved reaction to looking inside a safe sleeve anti-radiation case. Safe sleeve appears to not really understand the science behind how cell phones work, which seems obvious as their design clearly matches the FTC's description of a scam. Now safe sleeve is selling consumers a very dangerous anti-radiation case that blocks the phone's antenna with a metal plate just so they can sell additional phone accessories that attach to a magnet without any regard for the consumer's safety from RF radiation. That's the first way that you're being deceived by SafeSleeve. Poorly designed cases that are advertised as keeping you safe from RF radiation, but are potentially exposing you to even greater amounts of radiation from your phone by interfering with the phone's antenna. Now, let's look at the second way that SafeSleeve is deceiving you. The RF shielding technology inside the safe sleeve anti-radiation case is not FCC tested in their products as they would lead you to believe. Station KPIX5 in San Francisco aired an investigative report showing that safe sleeves FCC certified lab testing does not include testing their cases with an actual cell phone inside the case. It's very important to understand that the only thing SafeSleeve has ever had FCC lab tested is its radiation shielding material, which is not inside a SafeSleeve case when tested, according to the KPI X5 report. This means SafeSleeve is testing the material used in their cases, but is not testing the case itself once the material is inside the case. This is where consumers are being gravely misled. SafeSleeve's advertising is very deceptive in that it gives people the impression SafeSleeve's cases are FCC certified lab tested. This type of deception puts people at greater risk because it gives them a false sense of security from an untested product. The news report stated that the raw shielding material and not the SafeSleeve case is tested with a controlled signal generator, which functions nothing at all like a cell phone. In the real world, cell phone radiation fluctuates along with the cell phone's signal and power, 
So using the control signal generator yields results that are nothing like the results they would get from using an actual cell phone. In fact, the FCC certified lab testing safe sleep claims in their marketing is not at all similar to the cell phone radiation test actually required by FCC certified labs for phone radiation compliance. The KPIX report also clearly shows that safe sleeve uses the trefoil symbol on their product packaging and in their advertising, which is not only a blatant scare tactic, but an outright misuse of an international warning symbol as well. SafeSleeve resorts to fear-mongering and scare tactics to sell their cases by showing the trefoil symbol when referring to non-ionizing cell phone radiation. This is outrageously deceptive. Shame on SafeSleeve for watering down an international warning symbol that was designed to specifically designate the presence of very deadly ionizing radiation. While I don't feel there's a distinctive dividing line between the potential health effects of ionizing and non-ionizing radiation, as both are biologically hazardous, there's a huge difference between exposure to something that can be fatal within hours, such as ionizing radiation, and something that can take decades, such as non-ionizing radiation from cell phones. Globally, people depend on this international trefoil symbol to provide a warning when language barriers could interfere with their safety when they're within close proximity to harmful ionizing radiation. Cell phones emit non-ionizing radiation, and to misuse the trefoil symbol in an attempt to scare people into equating non-ionizing cell phone radiation with very deadly ionizing radiation simply to get them to purchase SafeSleeve's products is morally and ethically wrong because the trefoil symbol warns people when they're in the general vicinity of potentially deadly ionizing radiation. Safe sleep, this goes way beyond deception here. It's immoral to water down the meaning of this international warning symbol in your quest for profit. Now, let's move on to the fourth deceptive practice Safe Sleeve uses, misleading testing videos. In an unfathomable attempt to blatantly deceive consumers with a deceptive sleight of hand video, SafeSleeve tests their cases using a modified tri-field meter that can be set to measure three distinctly different fields of radiation, electric E fields, magnetic B fields, and microwave RF fields. The latter is microwave radiation, which is the primary type of radiation your cell phone emits, but they clearly never place the meter they're using on the microwave setting, which is the whole point of testing their case in the first place. Instead, SafeSleeve sets their meter to measure relatively benign electric and then magnetic fields, which are completely unrelated to the health effects attributed to microwave radiation exposure. So they end up never actually demonstrating the effectiveness of their case in blocking the most dangerous radiation they claim to be protecting you from. It only takes a few internet searches to find disappointed safe sleeve customers that own the same tri-field meter whose meters show no RF microwave radiation reduction at all, and some even notice RF increases. If you'd like to see these for yourself, I've included links to some of them below the video. The video demo safely posted online never shows them testing what would be considered the obvious and potentially most dangerous radiant energy, RF microwave radiation. Finally, here's the fifth way Safe Sleeve is deceiving you, by offering you shielded products where shielding is pointless. I'm talking about their tablet and laptop cases. RF Safe was the first company to make laptop radiation shields back in the days when laptops were connected to the internet by cables instead of being wireless. We ceased making them 20 years ago when the main form of connection switched to being wireless which had the unfortunate result of locating the transmitter too close to the body, and we knew that the shielding would no longer be effective. But this doesn't stop companies like SafeSleeve from continuing to claim that using their shielding products for your laptop or tablet will keep you safe. Since tablets and laptops emit RF radiation, protecting just the back of a tablet or the bottom of a laptop is an exercise in futility. <laughs> Actually, calling it a laptop is a bad way to refer to these types of computers as they should never be placed in your lap. These devices are not just emitting radiation from the back or bottom, they're emitting it from the front and sides as well. For example, if you're using your computer with the shielding on the bottom and are holding it on your lap, well, you're certainly providing excellent protection to your femur bone, but your groin and the rest of your torso are still fully exposed. 
This is a special concern if you're a pregnant mother, since the shielding is doing nothing to protect your unborn baby, let alone your internal organs, and who knows in what direction the radiation reflected from the bottom is heading. So when it comes down to actually using your tablet or laptop with a safe sleeve case, the only thing you're really getting out of it is a false sense of security. Now I've shown you the five different ways that safe sleeve is misleading you into buying their products. So what do you do with a product that claims to protect you, sold by a company totally lacking in credibility? <laughs> Now, I admit, this is a very unfortunate option. So much help is needed globally to protect people from the effects of wireless radiation. This is why all products marketed as being anti-radiation need to be certified as RF safe for consumer use, meaning that guidelines must be followed and federal regulators need to get involved. Governments around the world need to act quickly to protect their citizens from companies preying on people's fears and very outdated safety regulations imposed on the industry. Also, I'd like to remind you, there are many reputable companies and organizations promoting RF safety that are not out to scam you. KPIX news reporter Julie Watts requested that RF Safe provide a case for their investigation into wireless radiation protection. The results reported by KPIX5 showed that RF Safe's case reduced radiation exposure by up to 90%. It's great to see news agencies and independent tests confirming RF Safe cases are an extremely effective solution to reduce excessive cell phone radiation exposure. KPIX5 was also quick to notice that RF Safe was the only company to explicitly state on the packaging itself that the case should only be used with the front cover closed to prevent excessive radiation exposure. RF Safe has always been committed to making sure you get the highest level of protection, and our packaging reflects this commitment by including easy to understand usage instructions that are clearly visible to ensure maximum RF safety. Now, RF Safe has never claimed that our cases block a specific percentage of radiation because we put focus on the truth about RF safety. While properly constructed and tested RF safety accessories are very helpful at reducing radiation, it's much more about changing one's lifestyle to avoid excessive exposure, much more so than relying on any single accessory to protect you and your loved ones. At the conclusion of the news report, KPIX5 mentioned that RF Safe didn't respond to their request for comment. I'd like to take a moment to point out that our company is located along the Gulf Coast of Florida, and when KPIX5 contacted us to request a comment, we were not able to take their call because Hurricane Irma was bearing down on us at the time, and we'd already evacuated and spent over a week without power. It literally takes an act of God for us to miss an opportunity to answer questions related to the public's exposure to RF radiation and how to lessen the potential for negative health effects. RF Safe has always maintained that it is a lifestyle change involving a system of safer usage that is the key to avoiding excessive cell phone radiation. The reason for this is because a protective case by itself will never protect you as effectively as using a system of cell phone usage. I'll be posting a video on this soon. Thank you very much for watching.